Hey guys, so today's topic, I wanted to talk about something that I struggled with in the past and that is um, when I wanted to start a comic or I wanted to, like when I first started out drawing, you know what, let me backtrack, even like, even now, something that always stops me is like this voice in my head, it's like, oh I want to draw this comic, ooh but I'm not good at drawing this certain thing or just drawing in general. and. I know with um, certain people, you'll look at their artwork and you're like, you are good at drawing, what are you talking about? But it's like, no I'm not, I still don't know how to draw a hand without reference. <laughs> There's still a lot of stuff I don't know how to draw without reference. And for me, I know that it doesn't make you a bad artist or that you're bad at drawing because you can't draw something without reference. That's just how your brain, those are just the tools that your brain needs to be able to create that image and that's totally okay i mean that's exactly how i am and i know there are people who are like well if you did this more often you become like that and it's like it's okay for you to use reference and to continue to use reference to be able to get your point across it it, it is okay to do that <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that you don't need to be changed you don't need to be fixed you don't need to be school to to be like somebody else who doesn't use reference and is able to create this it's like that's fine that's fine anyways I digress so you know sometimes I want to draw this comic idea but I feel like I'm not good enough at drawing the subject or I'm not good enough at drawing in general or I'm not good enough at um, I'm just not good enough and it's like well you don't have to be good enough like, I have to keep telling myself, I don't have to be, like, just, like, this a thousand level artist <laughs> creature or something. I can just be an artist at my level and still create whatever it is I want to create. No, it might not look, you know, as high as, at the same level, not as high quality, because it still is quality if I'm putting my heart into it, you know? But it might not look like others, which, you know, that's okay. It doesn't have to look like theirs. You know, my stick figure is still valid, even if my stick figure might not look as perfect as somebody else's stick figure. It, it's If it's getting the point across, it's doing good. I shouldn't compare myself. Because <laughs> that's just, that's, that doesn't, that's not what makes me happy. Comparing myself to others, that's not what makes me happy. You know, and I do understand, you know, that... Some people will say to compare yourself to others that there's positive takes from that. And I'm not like disregarding that. I'm not like totally closing that off. But what I'm telling myself is to stop myself from beating myself up, putting myself in a box and telling and like giving myself all this negative emotion to where I end up getting slammed with artist block because I feel inadequate because I'm looking at someone else and I'm, I feel like I should be them. And it's like, no, you don't need to be. So I'm just speaking on that aspect. But um, yeah, that's what I, I struggle with sometimes where I'll get a story. Oh, perfect example. There, When I watch like Naruto or, you know, Boruto or whatever, shoot, Samurai Champloo, man, those fight scenes, it's like, oh, I want to draw that, you know? <laughs> I want to draw some cool fight scenes. I can't draw no fight scenes. I don't know how to draw fight scenes. Like when I start thinking of like the panels, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to map the camera angles to where it looks all dynamic and stuff and how to, you know, draw the punches. Cause when you draw in fight scenes and stuff, you know, it's exaggerated cause it's like the motion of it. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so it's like, so there are a lot of like fighting story ideas that I want to draw, but I don't because I'm not good at drawing it. <laughs> and it's like, dude, just draw it. And it's like, no, no. No, I'm not good at drawing it. So it's like unfortunate because it's like, well, you could have drawn it had you just drew it instead of stopping yourself from even starting because you were automatically pegging yourself as not good enough. You know, you are good enough. If you have the idea and you want to draw it, that's enough. <laughs> but I understand wanting a certain type of quality and this and that, or one, a certain type of, not even quality, let me rephrase that, a certain type of aesthetic. I want it to look a certain way. And it's like, if it doesn't look this way, then I don't want to do it. 
Because that's the way, you know, like you get an image in your head and it's like, oh, I, I want to draw exactly what's in my head. And your hand's like, oh, okay, here you go. And it's like, that's nothing. That's not at all what I saw in my head. It's like, well, this is what you got. Like, that's how, that's the struggle. You know, I want that aesthetic goal. <laughs> I'm a vain artist. I want my art to look a certain way. I want my comics to look a certain way. So I have an aesthetic goal. If it doesn't look like that, I don't want to draw it. Mm -hmm. But I do want to draw it. <laughs> but I don't draw it because it doesn't look the way I want it to look. You, you, get, you get the struggle that I'm going through. So I don't even have any answers on how to get past that. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not very helpful. I'm, right now I'm just rambling about the struggles of wanting to draw, but you can't draw. And it's like, why? <laughs> So, I mean, one of the things that I can end up doing, of course, is using, shoot, using movie, again, going back to my reference, watch, uh, man, what's that movie with the elephant? I can't remember, but there's this movie with this elephant, and this guy's trying to get this elephant, his elephant back or whatever, and it's like, they got some really cool, some really cool, like, you know, shots and all this stuff, and it's like, hey. Why don't we just use and redraw the screen caps? Because I know people are like, oh, you got to study this and that. My studying is legit movie screenshots and redrawing over that. Like, just keep redrawing over whatever, whatever to try to get that muscle memory down. Because I think that's the main thing for me is if I redraw a certain thing, and it doesn't have to be the same thing, just redrawing over scenes, redrawing over compositions, different movie directors have their own style of their own cinematic style so like if I follow this movie director and copy redraw over you know those scenes and I can kind of start picking up and noticing okay this is how this scene is put together to get this feeling am I making sense <laughs> I don't feel like I'm making sense but I'm making sense myself so I'm just spewing it out on my mic but um doing that helps me to kind of start to see more than what I saw before like had I oh not even that even with like different anime screenshots or even different manga you know different panels or whatever everybody has their own cinematic style of creating the composition for each panel and if I go to like a comic series and like study how they decided to have this character position you can kind of start picking up on each artist's cinematic style and that kind of helps you to get a memory bank within your own brain and you can start like making a collage and then thus morphing together your own cinematic style based off of what you've seen like it's it's interesting it's very interesting i i mean not everybody's going to agree with that and which is totally fine but this is what works for me and i'm happy <laughs> so i mean that's i guess that's something that i can do the comic that I want to draw, not right now, I won't draw right now, I won't draw something else. But in the future, you know, I should stop pigeon, is it pigeonholing? Pigeonholing? Is that the word? I can look it up on Google, but I, I don't want to right now. I, I have comic work I need to do. But I should just stop, like, what is it, shooting myself in the foot? Is that the word? I should stop stopping myself from even starting the comic. <laughs> just because I feel like... I'm not good enough to meet the aesthetic goals. I don't have to be good enough to meet the aesthetic goals, even though I do want to meet the aesthetic goals. If I really want to make the comic, then there is reference that I can use. Movie scenes of different action scenes that I like. Redraw over those. Try to get into like the like the groove of, oh, so this is how this looks. This is how you draw that feeling or whatever. So I mean, I just, I got to stop stopping myself before I even start. If I really wanted to draw this comic, then, you know, I I do it. And I can do it by looking at reference, pulling reference from actual stuff that I did enjoy. So, I mean, actual, you know, fighting stuff, whatever. Not to say, don't go tracing the whole entire thing and then saying, you know, this is my character and it's like, okay, but that dude straight up is, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't retrace over Garfield and it looks exactly like Garfield. And he's like, oh no, this is now my character. This is Garfunkel or whatever. And it's like, dude, that's Garfield. <laughs> that's an exact replica. Don't, don't steal, but trace over 
you know, and learn and study and shoot, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just reference. <laughs> study. You know, like how we, that's what it is. How we learn the alphabet. We learn how to draw our A's, B's, and C's by tracing over it. Some people didn't need to trace over. They could just look at it and boom. You know, other people, they needed to trace over it to get the memory of the shape down. And that's usually what we still continue to do with art. We need to get that memory and like in, embedded into our brain so we trace over that until we got the muscle memory. And it's like, boom. It's in our it's in our, our brain bank and now we can bust that out and boom look at that A. A is beautiful. I ain't need trace over nothing. So okay. This <laughs> I don't know what I said was helpful. I hope it was. Um so yeah, that's just what I've been thinking about. And I I I I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. I have comic work that I need to do. I have one more, another file of the webtoon, Catch Me, Find Me, Love Me, to work on, which is, I'm working on one right here. I'm, well, it's a screen recording now, doing voiceover for it. And I have another one that I need to work on. I've just been doing like one file a day because I want to be able to enjoy the process. And right now, doing one file at my own pace and at my own leisure, it's been it's it's been helping with that mental release not to say that i'm never going to go back to doing multiple files per day but right now it's just like i want to just do one file each day and not and not feel like i'm just you know it i can't explain it i i'm enjoying the one file per, per day right now until i decide to change it so that's what i have to do today as well another file i hope you guys are having a great day with your comics or whatever it is you're working on because it is a struggle but we can try to stay positive and by stay positive I don't mean like not without being practical I mean just more so looking at focusing on what's make what makes us happy instead of being like all negative because your girl can get negative real quick but anyways I hope you guys have a nice day today's Tuesday right now no Oh, girl, it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday for me. So I hope you guys are having a nice Wednesday. Alrighty, I'm going to speed this. I'm going to actually, uh, this, I'm going to speed up this video. Yeah, we're going to just speed up the video to match how long I've been talking. And I've been talking for a little over 12 minutes. So, yeah. Alright, <laughs> bye guys. Have a good day.